Thanks a lot to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and allowing me to literally put bread on the table. With that said, we're about to make something absolutely epic with this barra de pan. Let's go! Wait until the reveal tomorrow because the sugar melts and you'll get like a pool of cinnamony, sugary goodness. It's just, just wait for it. Estamos. All right, my hair's a mess, but let's ignore that. Buenos dias. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nasty Foodie Fitness here. Y bienvenidos a otro video. Voy a intentar hablar español durante todo el video. O la mayoría, ya veremos, pero en este vídeo iba a decir que hoy vamos a hacer algo diferente Pero siempre estoy comiendo en mis vídeos y hoy vamos a hacer lo mismo <risa> Solo que voy a intentar hablar un poco más en español en este vídeo Porque sé que todos me estáis pidiendo que hable más español, así que... ¡Ole! Por vosotros, por los españoles, los argentinos, los mexicanos Y lo siento muchísimo a todos que estéis viendo este vídeo Y no os estáis enterando de nada Don't worry guys We're just doing a full day of eating Essentially, kind of Spanish edition I'm gonna try chucking a little bit more Spanish As I'm always being asked to speak a little bit more Spanish in my videos Maybe I'll just speak Span English Estaremos todos Contentos, todos happy. <laughs> so today I thought I'd change things up a little bit and only eat Spanish themed food. Like traditional, well, I'd say traditional dishes, but I'm not going to do the standard paella, like the standard standard. More like the Spanish dishes that I enjoy eating at home. Also just want to point out it is Good Friday, Viernes Santo. I won't be eating meat today. It's the only day in the whole year where we don't eat meat. And so there's no meat in this video. Woo, to the vegans! Oh no, not vegan, not... <laughs> Delete that. No, we're not vegan today. Anyway, Spaniards tend to eat not a massive breakfast, like more a coffee and like toasted bread with a bit of olive oil. Don't know why I'm doing this so much. Tomato. That's not really my thing. I, I like sweeter things. And so, tenemos torrijas. So torrijas are a dessert, I'm aware, but it's kind of like the Spanish equivalent of French toast. So I'm just going to have that for breakfast, okay? So don't judge me. I tried them yesterday, hence why there's only one plate now instead of two. Oh, they smell insane. And yeah, the longer you leave them, the more the sugar caramelizes. Cinnamony, sugary goodness. So good. So yes, para desayunar voy a tomar torrijas. Oh my God. They're so good, so good. By the way, I'm rushing this because I only have one more minute left of space. Mm -mm -mm. But cheers to a full day of traditional Spanish eating. Look at that. It's like squishy. I'm gonna enjoy this and I will catch you guys for lunch. Quite a bit of cooking in this one. Mm -mm. My god. A nice hearty breakfast. Cheers! Dunk it in the sugar. Mm -mm. <laughs> These are literally gonna last nothing. Esto es para cenar, pero lo estoy preparando antes. Aquí tenemos berenjena, 
ajo, pimiento, calabacín, cebolla... Mmm, creo que ya está. Yes. Okay, guys, I'm back and I am currently doing some prep, half naked, yes, for dinner. Para cenar, for dinner, we are having, vamos a comer pisto, pisto, so literally just loads and loads of veg mixed together, so it's kind of like a ratatouille with aubergine, peppers, onion, garlic, courgette, everything. Also, my cousin, who you would have seen in my videos in in Spain, she always does pisto with apple, which I've never tried before, so we're gonna give that one a go. Manzana. <laughs> At this point, I really don't know which language I'm talking in. Like, already I talk too much and then having to speak it in both languages. Está complicado la cosa. So, lunch preparations are underway and we are gonna have empanada. But instead of having the typical empanadas that you'd see in Spain are kind of... Like, they've got pastry over the top, but we like to do like an open top empanada so it's kind of like a pizza though i feel like tuna pizzas are kind of frowned upon but anyway para comer vamos a tomar empanada pero pero en vez de cerrado con la tapa sin tapa así que es como tipo pizza es que no sé si hablar en español o en inglés so we've got some fried onion cebolla and then in that we're gonna put some two tin whoops we're gonna put two tins of tuna atún and then, as you would have seen earlier, <laughs> sound like one of those people in Art Attack. Here's one I made earlier. Literally just got some fried tin tomato. Gonna just use like half of that, and then the other half will be for the base. Pues nada, como veis, mezclando dos latas de atún con tomate frito. Oh my god, it's tight. A ver, hija, déjalo que claramente no puedes. Okay, guys, welcome to the, the preparation station. So, olives are going down. Olives, done. It's two boiled eggs and some of those pimientos. Sweet and roasted peppers. We have now got the prep done for lunch. It actually smells so, so good. Just gotta... Oh no. That's what happens. Just hit my funny bone. Just gotta check it's okay. Vale, pero a ver, deja un poco para la comida, ¿no? Mm -hmm. yeah. The olives, boiled egg and roasted peppers have now been chopped up. Essentially, all that is required is puff pastry. That's just open and then um, build a layer of tuna, top it with the eggs, olives, peppers, bung it in the oven, and you have a delightful open top empanada. Pero dilo bien. Empanada. Y ahora en español, ¿no? ¿O qué? Uy, que casi se me olvida. Y para los españoles, pues, vamos a comer empanada. Ya he cortado las aceitunas, el huevo, pimiento, tengo el atún con tomate y cebolla. Y ya está. Enseguida comemos. Done. Oh, thumbnail. And yeah, I'm fully aware that when I speak Spanish and English, my tone completely changes. Mira, si sigo hablando en español, creo que se me sube un poco the pitch. Did you hear that? So, like, I'm talking English now, y luego si cambio a español, va subiendo el tono un poco. No sé. <laughs> Qué lío. Okay, so this is layer one, and now we're gonna pile on the huevos, olives, and pimientos. Of Spanish or whatever. Tomorrow feels a year away, like the seconds, the beginning and the end. But if in time it's yesterday, here it is. So that's just going in the oven. Not enough. I want to 
wanna see the I wanna take it on it, I'm falling. A ver, ¿qué les quieres decir? Que aproveche. So yeah, what are we doing? Explain in, in, in Spanish or in English. Vamos a comer. It's because you say it half-hearted, you know, like, now, you know, it's time to eat. What are we doing? Come on, ánimo. Ay, me cortas, hija. Yo no sé hacer estas cosas como tú. No me saques mejor. So what my mum was trying to say is we're gonna have lunch. Just kind of sat here like a little peasant waiting to eat. We've got salad ready. Salad, salad, and salada. What other language can we say this in? Salata. Salata? Tú eres la pusua. Okay, it's been what seems like 329 million billion years. I'm gonna check if the empanada is ready. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it looks good. This looks good. Okay. By the way, to all the Spanish that are judging me, I know that this isn't a normal empanada because it's not got the lid, but... It's like a painting. It's like a birthday cake. Can you give me a plate? Okay, I'm gonna put the camera away and enjoy. All right, fine, fine, fine. I'll just give you a taste test. You know, like those pastries that you get in Mercadona. Mm. It's like pastry and... You can also eat it this way. Mm. What's a taco? Evidently, dessert had to follow. Torrijas pal body. People keep saying that in Brazil they're called rebanadas. Maybe I have to have mine too. I need another one. I'm going in for another. Whoa! I love my video, so I have to have mine too. As if by magic. Otra torrija. Look at that inside shot. Extra sugar. Mm. <laughs> we should make two barras. Two barras. Get on my Look at me, like a peasant. Here. Mm. Ah. 
¿Sí? Hola Sí, justo estoy grabando un vídeo ahora mismo Sí Comiendo como comidas típicas de España Ah, ¿me sigues? Muchas gracias Solo una cosa Por favor, ¿me podrías, si te gusta el vídeo, me podrías dar like al vídeo? Sí, totalmente gratis Sí, muchísimas gracias Chao Well, instead of awkwardly watching me eat a banana, I may as well tell you a little bit more about the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your own business. The beauty of Squarespace is that everything looks so, so professional, but it's literally the easiest thing to use. They have templates to get you started, as well as a whole library of help guides. These include mini tutorials that will walk you through how to use all the features of Squarespace. For instance, how to do social media integrations. You can actually authenticate your social profiles, so it will auto-post your content to Twitter, Facebook or Tumblr, even tweak your images within the platform. It's also super easy to preview how your platform is looking between devices. So you can head over to squarespace.com for a two week free trial, just a low key reminder, and then forward slash nutty foodie fitness that will save you 10% off your first purchase. Catch you guys shortly for dinner. Bagel, bagel. Bagel. A, a bagel. A pizza. <laughs> Estoy grabando. Graba. <laughs> pues acabo de darme cuenta que son las 8 y llevo todo el día sin vestirme. This is when I now do that. <laughs> Para cenar vamos a tomar pisto con huevos fritos Venga. Vale, espera. I'm trying to explain. Pisto, huevos fritos y y bagel. Y bagel, un bagel. Bagel, pan con un agujero dentro. No sé cómo se dice, ¿sabes? You just Spanish to find the English word. That's what they do when they That's what they do. Pues eso, un bagel. Okay, that's it. Let's go. That's the pisto, and I taste tested it earlier so I can confirm. It's a beauty. Capitulín! How many have we got left of Casa de Papel? Uy, si es el hermano! Está en el vídeo! Pendeja! They're gonna come for you both now. How can you treat me like that? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> I hope they don't demonetize me now. Maybe they're much more fresco. This is what I meant, guys. Estos. Pan con agujeros. I already told you. I just don't think that's right. Alright, let's settle this once and for all, shall we? Feli, ¿cómo se llama ese pan que en inglés se llama bagel? Pero, un bagel, un bagel. pero Alex está diciendo que. The excited for dinner dance. Okay. All right, fine. You were right, Alex. Celia just said, se dice igual. I mean, it's a, it is a little bit basic, but keeping in with the theme of Spanish, I'm going to enjoy this. We've got one, two more episodes of Casa de Papel to watch, and I'm going to end this video here because I can't seem to record one video with the content being under two hours like i just need to stop talking so so i really do hope that you have enjoyed this full day of eating spanish ishness espero que os haya gustado el video con un toque español y si os ha gustado por favor darle like a este video que no cuesta nada i would really appreciate it me ayudáis muchísimo vale pues eso uh, adios, ciao, bye. Stay night, my friends.
Um, someone is jumping at me. This is the dedication to YouTube. No puedo hacer este video hablando las dos idiomas. What happened, empanada? This is. I'm doing a dun 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 dun. Don't worry about it. Estoy intentando sacar un thumbnail with a tin of tuna. I'm done.